friends. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Today I'd like to share a story with you about Martin Luther King Jr. It's called Happy Birthday Martin Luther King. And it's written by Jean Marzillo and it's illustrated by J. Brian Pickney. Jr. was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. His parents loved him very much. Martin went to elementary school, high school, and college in Atlanta. He was a good student. Later, he went to divinity school in Pennsylvania. Martin became a pastor, just like his dad, at the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta. They were both called Reverend. The Reverend Reverend Martin Luther King Sr. and the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Martin's job as a minister was to help people in need. He visited sick people in the hospital and made them feel better. Asked people not to fight with each other. He said that there were peaceful ways to solve problems. And like his father, Martin led people in prayer and song. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr is famous because he helped our country change some of its laws. A law is like a rule. Once there was a law in some places that said only white people could sit in the front of a bus and that black people had to sit in the back. Martin Luther King said that law needed to be changed. Rosa Parks and other people helped him change it. Now all people can sit in any empty seat that they like. Once there were laws in some places that said African Americans could use only certain restaurants and drinking fountains. Martin Luther King and many other people helped change these laws. Now all people can share the same restaurants and drinking fountains. Martin Luther King had a special talent for leadership. When he spoke, people listened. Poor people, rich people, white people, black people, and people from all around the world listened when Martin Luther King spoke. Many helped him work, march, sing, and pray for justice. In the summer of 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. gave the most famous speech of his life. He gave it outdoors to a quarter of a million people who had come to Washington, D.C. to ask the president for jobs and freedom for black people. In his speech, Martin Luther King said that he had a dream. His dream was that people everywhere would learn to live together without being mean to one another.
Martin Luther King Jr. was shot and killed in 1968. Because he loved poor people so much, he was given a special funeral in Atlanta, Georgia, where he was born. His body was put on a simple farm cart and pulled slowly by two mules to a cemetery. Thousands of people walked behind Martin in a loving parade. On his gravestone were carved these beautiful words, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Martin Luther King wanted people to be able to go to places together, share food together, and love one another in peace. Because he worked so hard for freedom and helped so many people gain it, we honor him every year on his special day. We call this day Martin Luther King Day, and we say to him, Happy birthday, Martin Luther King. Friends, thank you for reading this special story with me today. Let's say a prayer together. Friends, when we say a prayer, we can say it out loud for our friends to hear. We can say it in our heart and we can say it in our mind. Today, I'm going to say my prayer out loud so that you may pray it with me. Father God, we come to you today and we thank you for these, your beautiful, wonderful children that have come to hear the story of the life of Martin Luther King Jr. We thank you for his life of service and how he loved everyone, regardless of their skin color. Father God, we pray that you give us a heart like Martin Luther King Jr., that we may see the good in those around us, and we may love one another without hate and without prejudice. Father God, help us work together for those goals so that we may unite your kingdom in jesus holy name we pray amen thank you for sharing this story with me today bye for now friends